In this video, we're going to configure a site to site VPN using OpenVPN. We go to on the server side, VPN, OpenVPN. We're in the server tab, go to add. We'll choose shared key. We'll make sure we're using the WAN interface, port 1194, and we'll call this site to site VPN. We'll select to automatically generate a key. Specify the network between the two routers. It just needs to be something that doesn't exist on either side. Now we specify the remote network that we want to access. If there were multiple, we would use a comma separated list. We go down to the bottom and we hit save. Now we go to firewall and rules. On our WAN interface, we go to add. We go to UDP. The type for the destination will be open VPN. I select to log. And we'll give it a description of site to site VPN and hit save. We can also see that there's a rule there already that is allow any any. We don't need that, so we'll disable it. We'll hit save. Now we can go to the client side and we do the same thing. VPN, open VPN, except this time we choose client. Add, we'll choose shared key. Make sure we're using the WAN interface. Specify the remote end, the server side. The server was listening on 1194, that's correct. We'll give it a description, touch site VPN. This time we won't choose to automatically generate a key, but we'll go back to the server and find out what the key was that it automatically generated for us. Again, we need to specify the network between the two. And we need to specify the remote end network that we want to access from this network. Again, if there were multiple, we'd use a comma separated list. Go down to the bottom and hit save. Go to firewall, rules. But this time, we don't need to allow any packets coming in that will automatically happen for us. But what we do need to do is allow traffic to flow through the OpenVPN site-to-site -site network. So we'll select OpenVPN and choose add. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll just allow any, any. And we'll give it a description of inside the VPN. Hit save. Go back to the server. Check the OpenVPN network. We need to do the same here. Okay, so if we go now to OpenVPN on the server, click on the status, and we can see that the ne network is up. We can do the same on the client side, and it looks good. We can now try and ping. In this example, we're trying to ping the other side of the other router. And it's working. So you could try and ping any machine that's on the other side of the VPN and according to the configuration we've just used, it should work. Thank you.